राष्ट्रपति महोदय सर मैं ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी द्वारा निश्चित की हुई संविधान की रूपरेखा को प्रस्तुत करता हूं और निवेदन करता हूं कि इस पर विचार किया जाए इस तिरंगे को जिससे तेरी शान है सर ऊंचा रखना इसकी जब तक दिल में जान है वेलकम टू ऑल टू आर कार्नल फैमिलीज वर्चुअल रिपब्लिक डे सेलिब्रेशन टुडे इज द डे वेन एवरीवन यंग और ओल्ड टॉल और शॉर्ट लाइट के नॉट डाउ जॉइन टुगेदर टू शो द होल वर्ल्ड दैट आर नेशन इज द बेस्ट नेशन अंडर द सन Wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. Please join me, ask me, on this wonderful Republic Day celebration by our Carmel family. Janagana mana adhinayak jaya hai, Bharat bhagya vidhata. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Utkala, Vanga. हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे इफ योर एक्शंस इंस्पायर्स अदर्स टू ड्रीम लर्न डू एंड बिकम मोर देन यू आर अ लीडर एंड सच अ पर्सनालिटी इज अ डियर सिस्टर सिस्टर लिसी एपी हु नोज द वे गोस द वे एंड शोस अस द वे Let's lend our ears to hear her wonderful message to all of us. Good morning dear teachers, parents and my dear students. Our country celebrates Republic Day on January 26th annually with lots of pride and fervor. On 26th January 1950 we became a sovereign, secular, socialist, democratic republic. This year we celebrate the 73rd Republic of India. The Republic Day teaches us to live in unity and peace. This day gives the message of solidarity and freedom to all the people of India. Let us always cherish the idea of unity in diversity in all aspects of our lives and respect every human being. in spite of their caste color state or religion happy republic day thank you thank you sister for your wonderful words
pride that we live in a country that has such a diverse and glorious history and rich heritage. To tell us more, here comes Hirapi Gopal. In the glory of the 73rd Republic Day, I stand before you to showcase the Republic Day celebrations practiced in India. Years ago, the founding fathers of independent India, Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhi, B.R. Ambedkar, Subhash Chandra Bose and Vallabhai Patel manoeuvred our nation in a direction free from sectarianism, casteism and authoritarianism. In this ecstatic moment, India declared itself as a sovereign democratic republic state with the adoption of constitution on January 26, 1950. The day was celebrated with a 21-gun salute, flag unflaring by the first president of India, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Though years have passed, India still withholds this folklore in its Republic Day celebrations. The ceremony is made more colourful with parades of which the grandest and glorified parade is held at Rajput in New Delhi exhibiting the kaleidoscopic image of India's affluent cultural inheritance and dominant military powers. The parade is presided over by the president and pays a tribute to the brave martyr soldiers who shed their lives for India. The inaugural function of the ceremony begins when the Prime Minister of India places a wreath at the Amar Jawan Jodi to commemorate the martyred soldiers of the Indian Armed Forces. The day is celebrated with a 21-gun salute, flag unflaring, beautified with the singing of national anthem. Then is the saluting parade of the winners to the president in open jeeps, followed by the display of vehicles and equipments adding to the arsenal of the Indian military. This is followed by a march past where the president of India, being the commander-in-chief of the Indian Armed Forces, takes the salute. This is followed by a vibrant parade comprising tablets from different states. The Pradhan Mandri Rashtriya Pal Puraskar is the highlighted event of the ceremony where the children are rewarded for their outstanding deeds of bravery and selfless sacrifice. The conclusion of the ceremony is done by the daredevil motorcycle riding and a fly pass by the Indian Air Force fighter jets over Rajput paying a tribute to the glory of India depicting the Indian national flag. The Republic Day celebrations thus evoke a great spirit of patriotism in us which I would like to express with a salute. Jai Hind, long live India. Thank you Hira. To add a spice to our celebration, here comes our little shining stars with an amazing performance. Respect your principal, teachers and my dear friends. I am the DJ Shunga. Today, we are celebrating Republic Day. First of all, I wish you a very happy Republic Day. Republic Day is celebrated every year on 26 January. Republic Day is National Festival of India. It's a very proud day for us because on this day, the Constitution of India came into force in 1950. And Republic Day teaches us to live in unity and peace. So dear friends, come, let's celebrate Republic Day and love our country. Jai Hind! Thank you! Hello everybody! I am Nalanda Krishna. Today, we are celebrating our 73rd the public day. We celebrate the public day every year on 26 January. On this day, our India became a public country. It's a very proud day for our country. On this day, our India flag is hoisted and Yasanatham Jaryanamana is sung. Happy day public day to all. Jai I like the religion that teaches liberty, equality and fraternity. As said by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, let's not forget about the Preamble of India, drafted on 13 December 1946 by Jawaharlal Nehru to adopt, enact and give to ourselves a constitution. Here comes my friends to remind us about the Preamble of India. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved 
to constitute India into a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic and political. Liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship. Quality of status and opportunity and to promote Fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and the dignity of the nation. In our constituent assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this constitution. of the Indian heritage as it has a lot to offer. Join us to see the virtual tour of the amazing rich heritage of our country, India. Monuments are a witness to past and they also serve as country's cultural heritage. India's monuments have become a source of inspiration to future generations. Let's take a look at a couple of India's monuments. Amar Jivanjyoti after the 1971 Indo-Pakistan War, the Indian memorial, Amar Jawan Jyoti, or the fame of the immortal soldier, was built to memorialize the martyr and the unknown troops who died in the conflict. Amar Jawan Jyoti is made up of a marble pedestal with a cenotaph on top. Four urns surround the pedestal, one of which consists of a constantly burning flame. This memorial is found at two locations. First, under the India Gate at Rajpur, and second is installed under the National War Memorial. This monument is open throughout the year on all days. The India Gate The India Gate, formerly known as the All India War Memorial, is a war memorial in the eastern border of New Delhi's ceremonial axis astride Rajpur. It serves as a memorial to British Indian Army's 90,000 soldiers who perished in the first World War and the Third Anglo-Afghan War. Designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens, the India Gate is amongst the largest war memorials in India and every Republic Day, the Prime Minister visits the gate to pay his tributes to the Amar Jawan Jyoti, following which the Republic Day Parade starts. This monument is open all day and on all days of the week. However, the best time to visit India Gate is between 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. The timings of the light shows in the India Gate is between 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. The Rashtrapati Bhavan The Rashtrapati Bhavan designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens and Herbert Baker for the Viceroys of India today serves as the residence of the President of the world's largest democracy. The Republic Day Parade takes place every year on January 26 and it begins from the Rashtrapati Bhavan and then progresses around the gate. The presidential palace located on the western end of the Rajpath in New Delhi is also open to the public. The interior is split into three sections. The main building of the palatial mansion as well as its central lawn are covered by circuit 1. It is open from Thursdays to Sundays. The Rajpathi Bhavan Museum complex is part of circuit 2 and is open every day except Mondays. And circuit 3 runs from August to March from Thursdays to Sundays and includes the world famous Mukhal Garden. The visiting hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Red Fort. The Red Fort, also known as Lal Kila, is a magnificent fort in Old Delhi that served as the Mughal Emperor's royal palace. Ustad Ahmad Lahori is credited with designing it. On India's Independence Day, the Prime Minister hoists the Indian tricolor flag at the fort's main entrance and gives a nationally broadcast speech from its ramparts. In 2007, the Red Fort was renamed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The fort remains open every day except Monday. The fort is located on Nethaki Supashmar in Old Delhi with visiting hours from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Patriotic songs and dances brings us close to our country. Here comes a mind-blowing performance by my friends.
मेरी दिल जानिया मैं शीश झुकावा मेरी दिल जानिया तेरे नाम जो कर जावा कम है वो तू सारे जहा से प्यारी मेरे भारत की बेटी जीती रहो जीतती रहो
celebrating this Republic Day, let's hear some of the quotes from our famous freedom fighters of India. Let's begin with our Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi once said, Freedom is not worth having if it does not include the freedom to make mistakes. He also said that an eye for eye only ends up making the whole world blind. Our next quote is from a famous Indian novelist and a freedom fighter of India, Bengam Chandra Chatterjee. He used to say that patriotism is religion and religion is the love for India. Our next quote is from a famous Indian poet and also a freedom fighter of India, Rabindranath Tagore. He said that faith is the bird that feels light when the dawn is still dark. Our next quote is from the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. He used to say that citizens consist in the service of the country. Our last quote is from the Iron Man of India, Sadar Vallabhai Patel. He used to say that every Indian should now forget that he is a Rajput, a Sikh or a Hindu. He must remember that he is an Indian. Celebrate this Republic Day with joy and courage. Jai Hind! Freedom in mind, faith in our words, pride in our hearts and memories in our soul. Let's salute the nation on this Republic Day.